Since we started operating our first system in Rwanda more than a year ago now, we've been designing our next generation system from the ground up, incorporating all that experience of that first operation. And so we've re redesigned uh, pretty much everything about the plane and our ground systems to support scaled operations. So instead of being able to do 50 flights a day, we want to be able to do 500 flights a day from a single distribution center. We pull the blood or the medical product for that order, put it in a package, put that package into a zip, and launch that zip. Controller ready, airspace is clear, slight headwind. The aircraft weighs 20 kilograms, about 40, 45 pounds. Copy, spinning motors and launching the plane 138. Uh, it has about a 10-foot wingspan, 3 meters, uh, and it can carry uh, about 3 pounds, 1.75 kilograms. The plane is measuring actively the wind speed and the direction, and so if the wind's blowing in a particular direction, it's going to compensate and drop that package so it lands on the ground right where you want it. Uh, we can hit an area about the size of two parking spots. It looks like a kind of like a cake box with a paper parachute on top. A fixed wing aircraft can fly dramatically farther than something like a quadcopter. And that's really important for what we do. It can fly faster, it can fly through heavier weather, and the approaches to things like safety are also much easier. On our aircraft, for example, we have multiple motors, right? Uh, the plane, if either one of those stops working, the plane flies just fine. We're in Rwanda today and we're expanding to cover the other half of Rwanda uh, as we speak, and next is Tanzania. From there, we are really focused on solving this problem, access to medical products at a global scale. There's access to medical product problems in the US and in the developing world, and we really want to solve all of those problems everywhere.